Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Garo Horo no Koku in episode number 21 and 22 reactions. Okay, the previous two episodes. Um, the first one was uh, related to Emma, Emma's backstory and we actually get to know who she has been following and tracking down up until now. It was her husband, um, Luciano, I think that was his name and uh he we, we get to know their story you know like uh what how did she, he become a horror he was a person who uh wanted to save uh, the people and it was so much that it actually went into a negative direction that um you know like being unable to save them and seeing the corrupt uh you know like um the makai knights kind of doing whatever they want to all of those things actually affected him and by the end of it he ended up falling into uh, the clutches of a horror and uh, and Emma as well like you know has not been given the opportunity to uh, kill him by her own hand because people thought that oh she might also become a horror so all these things that's why Emma has been actually trying to track him down and kill him and he finally has his op her opportunity uh, she was almost going to die, Leon saves her and by the end of it, uh, after getting to know everything, Leon was like, alright, you do your thing, I'll only protect the city. And by the end of it, um, yeah, she, was, she is uh, able to kill and, you know, like, uh, yeah, kill his husband, her husband and, um, yeah, that's how that ends. And uh, she gets some uh, form of closure, I, I guess, and uh, yeah so that was that the next episode we get more about uh octavia yeah i think that was her name octavia's backstory and a new character called lara lara uh was a character who octavia thought of as like her own sister but we kind of see you know like her backstory of and her backstory involving her sister where her sister prayed to god when uh wolves came and attacked them uh, but no one come, came and help her out uh, not the villagers also didn't help so Octavia has this very you know grudge against all of them so for that she actually sacrifices this new girl Lara and uses her you could say to get out of the situation where she was almost going to get caught by Leon and um, Leon Alphonse and uh, Emma uh, because Emma like you know set the trap that whole thing happened and she she's you know killed the lara and you like you know tried to like you know play it off as she was not uh the crim not criminal but she's not the person uh that alphonse is sus suspecting her to be uh but at the same time in the end i thought she was going to feel remorseful about the situation but we see she's so far gone that she actually blames that thing also on the mafia knights and she's like, oh, it was your fault that Lara died. Whereas she's the reason why Lara died. So like that type of thing. And I feel like this is definitely like, you know, like kind of like a, what do you call it? Like an obsessive or crazy behavior. Like her anger runs so deep that she is blind to everything now. That kind of a thing. Yeah, I, I doubt she is doing this uh, with, like, you know, uh, with a sane of mind and we also met mendoza for a little bit and yeah and in the end um in, in comes uh erman and he's like yeah you know like i'm here to uh protect mendoza uh, leon is mad at this and leon is like all right let's fight so i'm guessing we're going to see father versus son in this episode so let's see so yeah that uh yeah that was the recap so let's get started uh this is episode number 21 and 22 of uh garo honno kokuin uh, first episode number 21 let's get started i'll be putting the subtitles in the time i hear sync it to whichever is a preference and let's start all right here's the countdown three two one go oh. Hmm. There you go. Huh. <sighs> hmm. 
Okay, well... Yeah. Job. So, yeah, but why? I was just saying this in one of the previous episode. Oh boy. Hmm. Oh boy. Okay. All right, don't get, oh boy. I was gonna say, don't get heated up that you lose your mind again. <laughs> but I don't think he's going to do that. Like the thing that Leon said here, I was, I was just talking about this in one of the previous episode that unless and until he thinks, uh, I'm talking about Ehrman, unless and until he thinks that protecting Mendoza something was going to come out of it she wouldn't he wouldn't do this so there must be some kind of reason because as far as we've seen Ehrman he does what is the best for everyone so there must be something something that Garm told him and he made a decision himself that yeah I need to do this so yeah All right. Knights, okay. Oh, this is uh, Octavia's. Yep. Yeah. Who <laughs> knows what's happening? Okay, so he also knows that... Oh, maybe... Urban is planning to actually somehow... Get close to him and kill him or something? Is that what's... I don't know. Let's see. Oh, damn! Yeah, his dad has experience, you know? Oh boy. Oh, he took his dance. Oh. Oh. <laughs> They're like, yep, it's not comfortable enough. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like the way he was talking is definitely his dad. Like no horror affecting him or nothing like that. Oh my God. Ooh, his nose, he's also going to. Okay. Uh. 
Ok. Oh my god. Um, what's happening? Oh my god. There you go. We want the reason. <laughs> Mendoza. The long way around. Okay, yeah. Giant horror. Okay, that's why he... But then why keep it a secret? I don't understand. No, but they're yeah, they're, they're using it as a bait to oh my god, what? Why? What? Oh my god, what the hell is that? Um. What? Yeah. Uh, what well, I still think um Arman has some other plan because Himena is here. Not only Himena, like all the people are also like you know like oh boy. Oh my god, he is going through the the Kiritsugu route. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. I don't know, I feel like he's it's still something, planning something else. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, there you go. Oh! Yeah. Hmm. 
My god. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo! Oh my god. Wow, another beautifully animated. All right, this is really good. Oh. My God. Yeah. <laughs> My wow. This is really the visuals are it. Amazing in this part. My god. Oh. Because it's a flashback, okay. <laughs> ah! Yo, I realized who Arman and Leon's relationship reminds me of. It's Jiraiya and Naruto. I realized it this late. <laughs> oh, what's happening? What? Uh. Oh, this is oh my god. Oh, oh my god. That's a weird looking demon. Okay. Oh, this thing regenerates, I think. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Yeah. So, this thing duplicates as much as it's... Cut. Yeah, why isn't he wearing his armor? Oh no, yo! Oh my god! Okay, there you go. There's his armor. Yeah, he was waiting for the opportunity to see the weak point or whatever. And that's when he is going to don the armor. Yeah. People needed protection.
Wow, this is what he said, but now what he's doing is completely opposite of it. Interesting. I'm talking about Arman. Oh, great. What the hell is this? They're going to kill him off, don't, wouldn't they? I think so. What? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah as he said like if we fall someone else will take our place so that's how we will never die oh my god Yeah. Oh my god, what is this? Okay. Oh, hey, there, there goes his weapon. Oh, oh, the kick. Or the, yeah, the, the whack. Leon f falls in a lot of water bodies. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh. Oh, it's the this time. Mendoza. Hmm. Wow. Look at this place. Brave. Oh yeah, the, the thing that they were talking about, Garm was talking about. Okay. What the? He's that confident. 
Anima. Damn. Feet of the horse that will flood through the open gates. Oh, that's what he's planning. Hmm. Oh god, there he is. Come on, they dragged him down so quickly. Yo. Oh! That's the, the mother too. What's her name? Z That's a mother too, isn't it? Just like Zaruba, I forgot her name. Oh boy. So basically, Mendoza's like, you know what? I know that uh, the Watchdog Center is planning to use this whole situation to, like, you know, send you here so that uh, they can strike the core. But you know what? I don't think they'll be able to do it. They're not that strong enough. So yeah, welcome aboard. You know, like, unless and until this thing resurrects, you're going to protect me. And <laughs> that's going to work out pretty well. So basically, he's like, yeah, I'm getting free bodyguards, uh, like, you know, protection up until the thing resurrects. So yeah, it's all well and good because I doubt they'll be able to do anything after it resurrects. So yeah, like, you know, <laughs> free protection, good stuff. Basically, that's what Mendoza, like, you know, whole attitude is like. <laughs> Oh god. Wow, a lot of interesting things that happened this episode is like we can see like uh oh another thing. As I said, I doubt uh like the plan of the watchdog center is to like is what we heard that okay let me just yeah uh is what we heard like let them say that oh a lot of people will be sacrificed but it's better than have the whole world being destroyed so we are focusing on uh, a few sacrifices than the whole world getting destroyed that's what we are doing that's what the watchdog center thinks about the situation uh I, and I'm sure like, you know, Leon also realizes that, think that that's not the same thing that Herman is thinking. Herman has some other plan because from uh, what I saw and what uh, Leon was recalling in his childhood, uh, Herman's attitude was like, we're going to save everyone. You know, like, however, like, you know, a uh, small percentage is that. Uh, unless and until we are alive and kicking, we will not let a single person die. That same person saying this, this at this moment, I don't believe it. So I feel like the Watchdog Center's uh, main motivation is pretty out in the open. Now we know what they're trying to do. But Herman, uh, following that, is also some kind of, I think, a trick that he's playing i don't know maybe he has some other plan underneath it which is going to like you know help us out in the future so that none of the people uh, are sacrificed so but but i still don't know what that is uh, i'm guessing the next episode will help like you know tell us a little bit about it because we're almost at the end and this is the uh 21st episode so uh, there's 24 episodes left so i'm getting guessing within these few episodes everything's going to come into a conclusion and I'm sure we're going to get to know what Herman is planning. Another thing which is which I saw is that the weird thing that popped up from the sky. Is that like a weapon or something? I don't I didn't realize what it actually was. I'm guessing it's some kind of a weapon which the watchdog center uh you know like 
kept there so that when uh, the time comes when the horrors are going to start coming in and when the sealed horror is going to uh, wake up they're going to use that to defeat the horrors is that what they're planning i'm guessing that's some kind of a weapon so that's how i'm guessing a lot of uh, people are going to get sacrificed now i don't know i feel like uh this can be uh but you know what i was going to say like this can be avoided if currently alfonso starts evacuating the people but i i, I think like it's kind of impossible now that i think about it because um like yeah this thing is going to happen real soon i think and it's not possible with that little amount of time for him to evacuate so many people so i don't know uh anyways uh, like let's let's wait for it okay this episode um it starts with uh leon and herman uh fighting and uh as like you know leon said i also like you know wholeheartedly agree with that Leon says that I don't believe like my dad would do a job which he himself uh, is not like you know uh, sure about like we've seen this in Herman as well like you know, he's not that type of a person who would just do something even if he personally disagrees with it just because it was an order from the upper like you know like um, the leaders uh, so he's not that type of person if he doesn't want to do something he will never do it that's the type of person Herman is. So it, I'm sure there is some kind of a merit that he is finding out in this plan of the Watchdog Centers and what he's trying to do. So that's why he's doing this. So he took this job in, with his own decision. It's not that he was pressurized or something like that. That's impossible. That's not the, per, the type of person Herman is. And Leon also says the same thing. That's why Leon was saying like, I'm suspecting if you're a fake, person you know like if you're just like you look like look my, like my dad or you are like you know like uh, you're something else like you're maybe a horror or something you know it's like that's what i am uh, suspecting and that's why he was like i'm going to fight you and um after fighting he says he himself says that no this is my dad this is really my dad like you know like the way he fights the way he talks and everything like it's, it's just him and uh, like that's pretty apparent you know because uh, as soon as he came and started talking with leon I was like, yeah, this is no fake or no imposter. This is definitely Herman because his distinct way of you know, communicating, talking and that, uh, you know, like that, that smirk that he always has on his face. That's definitely Herman. That's no imposter. <laughs> but yeah, the fighting starts and uh, all right, we shift to uh, Octavia and Mendoza. Octavia talks about the whole thing to Mendoza. Mendoza's like, thanks for covering it for me uh, and leave them alone for the time being because yeah, they're doing this, let them do. <laughs> I have no problem with it. Let them fight. And <laughs> yeah, okay, so the fight, the fight was, uh, that fight was quite good. You know, like we were seeing, like, you know, how Leon has also improved. We were kind of uh, on the same, what do you call it? Strength level, you could say. Um, and I like that part where, but both of them like you know grab the the other sword and then they kind of fought with it and then they're like wait a minute this doesn't this doesn't feel comfortable and they're like well just throws it away and grabs the other one <laughs> that was funny <laughs> oh my god I, I wonder what would have happened if either of them threw the sword away on a different direction or something <laughs> that would be kind of interesting you know uh, like <laughs> Like one of them throws the sword beside him and one of them throws it someplace far away and yeah <laughs> But none of them did that. So anyways, um Okay, now they start they keep fighting and they like you know, jump up onto the like you know, the roof and here uh, Garm comes in and Garm is like, oh, this is actually something that um, Herman is doing uh, according to our orders and she tells what it actually is, uh, what the plan actually is. She tells about the, uh, okay, where is it? Tonight is the lunar eclipse, uh, the night when the light is smothered by darkness, a giant horror will awaken from a slumber, slumber deep beneath Valiante. Um, Mendoza has already released a scene. There you go. And um, so what they're planning is using this opportunity to 
gather all the horses at the same place and defeat them kill them or something and also take care of the one that is seated underneath so they are not doing anything first because they want him to open the seal so that the horrors come in so that they can defeat as many horrors as possible that's their plan so that's why they're not doing anything currently because the seal is still not out like you know um like you know open so basically yeah like you know small sacrifice for a greater cause that type of thing is happening here and um uh herman also says the same thing he's like yeah that's what's happening here like, you know you need sometimes you need to um accept that you cannot you know like save everyone you need to make small sacrifices to uh like, you know for the greater good and now here i kind of like you know at that moment i was like okay i'm sure this like you know mendoza uh, not mendoza sorry um herman has some other plans because first of all uh, he's not the type of person who's going to do that as far as i've studied him number two himena is here you know like if if i like you know even if i think that all right like you know maybe some way or the other he made up his mind that yeah we need to make some sacrifices here but himena also lives here so that's also another reason i don't think he is going to like you know um carry on this plan but yeah i was still not completely sure about that at that moment but later on we get more confirmation as we get to know more about um herman's past uh you know like past memories where we saw leon and him fighting and we get to see what his you know, personality is what he tries to do and what his um i will call it what his main uh thing is like well, I'm, I'm i'm not finding the word for it but uh what he thinks about this whole thing uh no one should be sacrificed that's basically what he wants so from that flashback i was pretty sure like yeah there must be something else to this we, we are not getting the full story here so and then like you know like Gaunt says that and uh, uh, that comes like a weird thing from the top of the sky i don't know what the hell that is but it looks like some kind of a upside down castle or something like it looks like that i'm not sure what that is but it looks like an like an upside down castle or something but um yeah i think that's like a weapon that they're going to use to defeat the horrors when it comes out all right so uh alphonse and emma also comes up and leon is like all right i am like you know i'm, I'm not going to like you know like uh condone this and uh, he he decides to fight and he takes up uh, out his uh, armor uh what's his name uh, herman also brings his armor out and they start fighting now for real this time and this part again the animation was really nice you know I, and not only the animation i feel like the visuals are also very much polished here you know, like the uh, armor the garo and you know like uh zoro's like armor both of them they they had like you know like very distinct uh what do you call it form and shape and it, it looked a lot better the visuals looked so much more better than the previous like you know instances i i loved the visuals in this episode uh, i'm not talking about the animation the animation was really good as well but i'm not talking about the animation i'm talking about the visuals like the the, the armor the expressions that we were like you know kind of making you know like even the armor when garo was kind of you know like just uh like kind of making like a scrunched face and when we could see like you know the, the different um changes in his expression even with the armor and that was really nice i like that looks so much better this episode <clears throat> okay now here we get little bits and pieces of their flashbacks where we see how um herman and uh, leon trained and you know like how he talks to him about his resolve how he needs to protect the people this and that and uh, yeah now this is where i realized like you know after so long what these two reminded me of their relationship reminded me of naruto and jiraiya from naruto like if you look at it it's, it's definitely the same you know like i i have to say like uh herman's personality is definitely a lot like jiraiya you know 
pervy <laughs> and at the same time you know like has a very strong of justice his relationship with leon is like a funny like you know like you know it's like a friendship you know like a, like a like you know how friends uh like you know, interact with each other he interacts with his son like that and you know they kind of joke around like you know hit each other <laughs> and have fun that type of a personality and uh, you know like it's, it's it's nice to see that and i realized it this late that yeah these two remind me of naruto and jiraiya so much oh boy and okay now uh, they go to like a in the flashback they go to like a city and we're here we see like you know like uh, horrors have started attacking people like people are dying and in the one of the other flashbacks we see uh herman fighting the horror and leon was given the task of protecting the people behind him and here you know like herman knew what he was doing he had a plan you know he was he was basically waiting for to find the weak spot because obviously if you bring the uh, armor out you know you, you have a time limit so you need to actually see how to defeat the enemy first if you're able to realize that then you're supposed to wear the armor and deal the final blow because there's a time limit that's why he was not using his armor he was fighting normally and obviously he was getting a little bit overpowered um that moment but he's still we still keeping his cool and fighting and trying to find a weak spot uh obviously um leon did not realize that i think you know like when he saw like his dad being overpowered he was like oh my dad's in trouble i think you know that's why he just ran in front and tried to attack the horrors and you know like the horrors took that opportunity and just shoved him away and tried to get to the civilians and uh obviously like you know herman's plan went completely to waste here he was planning to you know like get to the weak spot first then take out the garo armor and fight and while his son is going to protect the people but yeah like he needs to go to the people now and protect them first so he went there kind of you know had his hand like had to sacrifice his hand a little bit for that and then he took out his armor and yeah defeated them so obviously like leon did not know that leon did not realize leon thought like oh my dad's been overpowered i need to go help him out so he probably did not know that was all part of the plan how to like you know take like in this uh situation how to uh how to um win in this situation so after that obviously his dad kind of punches him and he's like you are supposed to do what i, I told you to do you're supposed to protect the people and then he says like you know that uh, we are supposed to help these people out um as much as we can like as long as we are alive we're not supposed to let any one of them die and that's something that we should keep in mind first you know like you came to help me out but those people you know they they have no way to defend them you know i can defend myself but they don't they don't have that way so you know like that was a very bad decision that you took at that moment and he kind of tells him and like after that he says like here's here you are here's it no one will know who you we are if we die there won't be a grave that's fine <clears throat> We are just a blade that continues to fight horrors. So that one more person can laugh and leave one more day so that one more person. OK, no. Yeah, even if one of us falls, someone will take up our armor and continue to fight. That's why, Leon, we won't die. We don't die. To continue on as long as there is a world for us to protect like there's a really nice little speech here where he basically says that we won't we don't die because there's always that one person that after we die takes up our place in this world and he's going to again continue our duty and keep protecting the people so as long as there's a world to protect we will never die even if like you know we individually die like you know people like us are there, there's a lot of people like us in the world who's ready to take our place after we leave this world so like that's the way he talks about this whole situation and you know like it kind of says that yeah like our first priority is helping the people out who are unable to defend themselves and 
Now, I don't know. I feel like this whole thing kind of indicates that in the future they're going to kill uh, Herman off. I feel like that's what's going to happen. Like, otherwise, like, this whole section is completely focused on death. Like, you know, him talking about death. And whenever that happens, oh boy, you know, you know, something's going to happen to that character. And I feel like that's what's coming. You know, I feel like that's what's coming. Like, there's a lot of flashbacks for, you know, <laughs> whenever there's flashbacks for a certain character, oh boy, there's like a 50-50 chance that that person either dies or there's a good character development. So, yeah, this time I think it's probably the former, that the character's probably going to die. I, I, I feel like they're going to kill um, Herman off after this. There's a lot of part of this part, like, he just talks about death and he talks about how if I die, someone's going to take my place. That's a big sign that they're going to, they're going to kill him off in this anime. Let's see, I feel like that's what's going to happen, oh boy. Uh, yeah, they keep fighting. And uh, Herman is like, all right, I'm going to unleash my true full power because it doesn't seem like this can stop my son now the way he is. <laughs> and yeah, he just punches, punches Leon into the water again. <laughs> oh boy, Leon and water. <laughs> and yeah, then he goes to Mendoza and. Windows is like, follow me. Takes him underground and he's like, oh, look at this. This is a sealed, what was the name that he say? A certain demon. This. Uh, we see like a, like a, like a weird humanoid form kind of underneath water, like in a fetal position, I think. That's a, the fetal position, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. It looks like that, you know, it's kind of in a fetal position. So he's like, oh, this is the, um, you know, like the, the demon that we are keeping underneath. And uh, yeah, the horrors are going to come. Uh, this demon is going to wake up, consume those horrors, gets more stronger. And then I'm going to, you know, like uh, get that power and I'll become immortal or whatever he says. So that's Mendoza's plan. And he's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure the watchdog center, none of you can do anything about this. Uh, you're not that strong enough. So yeah, if you want to protect me, be my bodyguard up until that time, you're free to do so. Because after this thing awakens, I doubt you'll do anything. I know what you guys are planning. You, you, you guys are planning to, uh, like, you know, like gather all the horrors and the you know, demon at the same place so you can defeat it. I doubt that's possible. So yeah, go ahead. Like, you know, be my body, bodyguard or whatever you want to, uh, you know, free protection I'm getting. I wouldn't refuse that. That's basically Mendoza's attitude here. He's so confident. He's like, yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> That's why he's allowing them and him. And even he, he even like, you know, showed him like, oh, look at this. Like, here's the main thing that you guys are trying to you know, destroy. Go ahead. Do what you want to. <laughs> I doubt you will. So, yeah. And then in the end, um, we kind of see Leon and you know all, all of them and yeah well, so let's see what happens after that um i'm pretty sure obviously leon's not going to stop and uh yeah let's see so mm, yeah that was episode 21 uh, let's start episode number 22 so yeah i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference let's get started okay here's the countdown three two one go Hmm. Oh. Speed up, there you go. Horrors that flood through the open gates. Once that power is in my hand, I'll become immortal. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Um, this is the Mado tool, isn't it? Yeah, 
I'm guessing he left that with him. Probably he's going to get some other plan or other secret that his mother or two knows. Yeah, they kind of conversed before. There you go. That's the plan. You know, you remember that part when they kind of talked with each other and we did not get to know specifics of the plan? Hmm. Okay. We'll open the way to Anima. Okay, Anima, that's his name. I forgot about it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Wait, is this the... Oh no. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Directly focus. Hmm. Yeah, the... whoa, what the? What's the noise? Okay. Wait, oh my God. Oh my God. Humans were used as a medium. But they're wrong. They're using Makainites this time, that means. Which ones were not just for. Oh my god! That's what they were doing. Okay, that's why. The witch hunt and everything. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Like,
Where does this confidence come from? <laughs> well, survival is against the wishes. Ah, I don't think he cares about that. Exactly. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, well, great. What the hell? They were just lying there up until now? Hmm. They have white wings. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure Herman knows that's what's going to happen. <laughs> Damn, this guy's. Yeah, there you go. That's. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! Nice! That's how you do it! <laughs> oh! Oh no, he has to... He has to... Oh my god! Oh! Come on. <laughs> this is this enough for now? Wait, what? What will he do with that hand? Move, move, move! Oh my god! Oh, the horse! Nice! Oh my god! <laughs> What's he going to do with the hand? Interesting! Uh... Oh. Hmm. I yeah, would you like to save your game. <laughs> Final boss battle is coming. <laughs> uh what the hell? Yo, trap! <laughs> oh my god! Is this a teleportation? Oh. Is this like the future? Yo, they transported them to the future. <laughs> or maybe it's an illusion of the future. Three. Hmm.
It is a castle. Oh my god. Oh, that's what he's going to use it for. I'm like, why? Okay, makes sense. All right, the gate is open. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh boy. Oh no, what? Yo! Change, they changed the password! Great! <laughs> oh nice! Okay, so the presence is getting weaker. I'm guessing uh, the hand, it's, since it's cut off, that's why most probably. Like, oh my god, I think he needs to go and hold it. Yeah, oh, great. Okay. Okay, I thought he was going to hold it himself, but yeah, that works as well. Oh my... My... Wow, okay, so... <laughs> Playing Tetris. <laughs> what the hell? This... Oh, he, she's... okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god. Horrors or something? Oh, okay, okay, okay. My god. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's like surrounding them. <laughs> Can't his horse help? I feel like his horse could help. The, you need to also keep an eye on the time limit. Ah, oh, yeah. The time limit. Oh my god. Wait, did the weapon also dematerialize? Or is it still there? Oh! Oh boy. Okay, she's gonna snipe it from here. All right, these things. Nice. All right, dilution is gone. 
Yeah. Okay. Oh. What is this? Another seal or something? Oh my god, there's like three or four of them. Oh god. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I think so. That's better. Okay. Ah! Yeah, one's going to be a little behind and the other one... Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Ah, my God, what the? All right, the last one. There you go. Ah. Oh. Okay, where is this? Okay. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my, this Octavia. Oh Lord. Quick, go, go down.
Oh. Oh my god. I feel like Garm predicted all of this and that's why oh god like Herman not going according to her plan was a part of Garm's plan I think now you know when um, Herman told um, Mendoza that uh, I'm pretty sure Garm has some other plan like he, she's not that type of a person who would uh do this in like you know so with so less power because i'm sure she realizes that she needs a lot of um strength and like you know like with this amount of power that they have now they won't be able to defeat this anima so i'm sure she has some other plans and she realizes that this won't be enough i feel like the plan that uh, Herman was talking about that Garm might have is actually him not going according to the actual plan. Garm anticipated that and that's why she was like yeah let them do what they do and I'm sure uh, Herman, Leon and they won't let this actually happen and I'll like you know like when everything will be now that's when I will strike something like that I feel like because him not going according to the plan was actually Garm's plan because I'm sure she knew that they wouldn't condone this uh, normal like you know like people being sacrificed um, so Garm probably thought that yeah let them do what they want to do and I'll I'll use that as an opportunity to defeat all the horror something like that I, I i feel like that's what her plan was anyways all right this episode starts with um, uh what's his name uh well, it starts with uh herman in the uh, place where the anima anima is and we see um leon talking to the Mado tool and um, I don't remember her name but Herman's uh, Mado tool and she says that okay your dad is waiting uh, there with the gates open uh, that was what I was told to tell you guys and yeah I'll I'll go to sleep now and that's why I, I, I guess like you know Herman probably just deliberately put that Mado tool in Leon's hand most probably when he fell so that he wanted to tell him what the actual plan was that this is the actual plan all right so we see uh herman uh, mendoza them uh, like in the underneath place with the anima and mendoza here actually reveals why the witch hunt happened up until now uh this was the plan was actually like up until now i think like you know i think every one of us thought that the witch hunt was happening because Mendoza just wanted to defeat the Makai Knights and the Makai Alchemists and just wanted to reduce their power by just killing them off one by one. That was the plan. But that was not the entirety of the plan. He was doing that, but at the same time, he was actually using them and keeping their souls, I'm guessing, you know, like you know, the thing here, trapped over here so that he can use them later on. To resurrect or like you know remove the seal of the anima or something like that and so it's like it's basically like uh, two birds in one stone that type of a situation and we get to know that now here and uh, okay so yeah and here's where the conversation comes up where 
Herman tells that Garm is not that, you know, like stupid. She pretty, pretty much knows that, yeah, like even if he is able to uh, attack, she won't be able to defeat the sealed monster. So I'm sure she has some other plan or something else. And, you know, like, and I now that I think about it, I feel like Garm's plan was that uh, Herman wouldn't listen to the plan. That was her, her plan. And she she probably is waiting for the correct opportunity, like uh, you know, like Leon and his like you know team, like Leon, Alphonse, Emma, and Herman. They are going to like you know whittle down their strength little by little, Mendoza and all of them. And you know when almost everything is over, like you know, I'm sure Gan is going to step up after that, and you know she's going to use that thing or whatever to do something. I don't know. Maybe, maybe that's her plan. Maybe she's like, yeah, let them do their job first, and then I'll go in. Uh, but but if she actually goes in and like you know uses that weapon, a lot of people are going to die. So Leon and Erman cannot let that happen. So they need to defeat the anima themselves and also the horrors as well if they want to save this town. Because either way, either the horror or the anima is going to destroy the town or uh, the, the 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 weapon or whatever the upside down castle that is i'm going to somehow defeat and just you know and destroy the whole town either way the people are going to get you know killed so they need to defeat this as soon as possible hmm and here mendoza you know at first mendoza is like oh you you can't do anything you know you guys are pitiful just thinking about you know like protecting the people this and that he was talking about and he's like all right like he brings out a lot of horrors from you know that was probably camouflaging here and octavia tries to attack um herman and again like a little fight scene like you know happens at first mendoza was like oh i'm going i'll be able to you know fend him off but nah that doesn't happen <laughs> He like you know like he goes behind the horrors, and Octavia comes up, uh, and tries to attack. Uh, Erman. Erman dodges it, and the the horror starts attacking Erman. Erman puts on his armor, easily defeats them, and oh my god! Like Mendoza just levitates Octavia and puts her in front of him himself. So that he doesn't attack but <laughs> but Herman is like all right i might not be able to get his head but i can get his hand so yeah he just chops off his hand <laughs> oh my god and for a moment it, it seemed like he was like you know going to win if he kept fighting here because mendoza was very close like he could easily get to him but octavia does something here she just jumps on top of him and you know like the the I'm guessing the heat or something like that uh, on the, the armor started affecting her but she's a normal human you know and uh, Erman was forced to just dematerialize the armor for a moment and uh, yeah he like you know Garm takes that uh, not Garm sorry uh, Mendoza takes that opportunity to try to attack him he he's like all right I can't do anything now let's grab the hand and just run out of here and he just runs away from that moment and uh, grabbing the hand and at first i was like why did he grab the hand and then later on i realized why he did it <laughs> okay so mendoza puts up a few traps now and on the other side our team leon and uh, leon alfonso and emma they they're like just defeating they're like destroying the seals little by little coming in and the traps kind of caught them off guard a little bit. This trap which kind of transported them to an illusion of the modern future. Like these huge buildings we can see. Um, like from the anime we could see this is something that's happening in the older days. So seeing these huge buildings and I'm like yeah. This is probably like an illusion of the future or something. And Emma's like alright it'll take time but I'm going to you know like kind of try to find the transmitter out and then we'll re destroy those transmitters while at the same time Erman opened the gate 
and you know like it opened but then it started closing and he said i think like he said something about the presence is getting weaker or something i guess maybe you need a hand which is attached to your body to keep that open you see like you know just severed the arm he put it 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 kind of worked but by the end of it it, it start kept stopped working i guess because it's a severed hand it's not attached to your you know like to your arm so maybe because of that something like that happened and uh, he is like all right i need to do something here what should i do he oh and the horrors are also like you know popping up one by one so he's like all right let me just lodge this knife so that it keeps the thing open and like not only that like you know he loses one of his knives so he's, he has to fight with one of his knife uh he is usually like uncomfortable with two knives dual wielding but now he has to just wield one knife and that also probably like you know reduced his uh combat abilities at that moment i think uh when he had to like you know just fend off so much horrors coming one after the other and he doesn't even have one of his knives all right so um in the illusion emma is able to uh gauge the locations of the transmitters and all of them like you know go to respective directions to destroy those transmitters while um Ermin is fighting hordes after hordes of horrors like a lot of these times when i was i was thinking oh my god he's going to die i mean i was just thinking but thankfully he's still alive by the end of it and uh, um i don't know like you know there's just still a part of me that feels like they're going to kill him off uh because of the way he was talking in the previous episode and uh like in the end of the you know like uh, in the end of this episode uh leon and they come in okay i'll talk about that part later on let me talk about this part first um so yeah he he keeps fending off these horrors one after the other so over there uh they're able to def uh, de destroy the transmitters and oh boy they come to another seal which has like four of them lined one after the other and it will take a lot of time to actually destroy those um you know things those uh, seals and i feel like emma would not be able to do all of that at the same time because we saw you know like emma, a lot of like you know like things are falling on emma the whole transmitter like you know finding the transmitter thing destroying the seals so she's she's low on like you know like um uh, power i think so he, he, she was kind of like you know staggering there so i feel like trying to un like you know destroy those four barriers one after the other i think it would be impossible for her she should probably get stuck with the second or the third one um because she'd be out of energy or something like that so either way they didn't have much time so leon and alfonso was like all right let's just force through this and they used the like you know like one after the other thing strategy like first uh leon i think leon goes or was it anyways either of them you know one of them goes he starts one of the barriers just forces through it and then the other one takes the place and starts forcing through the other barrier while the other one recollect himself and like you know stands up and yeah and then like you know this continues un unless and until the four barriers are gone and they're doing that while again like and here we kind of do a little back and forth back and forth like you know we go to uh uh, Erman see him fighting and hear back again this this thing keeps happening um and one thing that happens here is mendoza is like all right they're almost here and um octavia's like oh let me like you know handle them and he's like nah you won't be able to do anything like one thing is interesting i uh, i don't know i still don't really understand this like i don't really understand what mendoza's plan was with octavia like she he did say that you know he is not going to abandon her and help her out and i feel like he's keeping that promise up until now like he he's not the one who actually ordered octavia to be like oh you become a horror and like you know defeat them he he didn't say anything he just calmly said that oh you won't be able to do it it's not up your alley she's the one who like you know said it that oh let me like you know like give me your power i'll do it like she like he's not forcing her i could see that but at the same time like you know the previous scene where he just used her as a shield that kind of bothered me i'm like like what 
But uh, yeah, like I, I think he, he knew that Ermann wouldn't be able to attack him if he used Octavia as a shield. Like, he knew that, that's why he did it. And uh, what I'm trying to say is I feel like he's keeping his promise in a weird way you know, to Octavia. It's like, yeah, he, he's not forcing her to do anything. No, she, she's, she's volunteering. She's like, oh, I'm going to help you out. And she's like, yeah, I'm going to go eliminate, eliminate them. Give them, give me your power. You know, I want to see the world that you make. Stuff like this, she's saying. And, uh, and here again, he's like, if your determination is real, pick up the stuff. He's not forcing her. He's like, yeah, go ahead. If you want to, you can do it. Like, <laughs> it's your choice. And my God, like, it's, I guess this really shows like he knows that Octavia is going to do it either way because of you know, the amount of faith that she has on him. So he doesn't even need to force her. He knows that she's going to do, uh, like you know, do the stuff that's going to help him out when the time comes. And she does. He knows that he doesn't even need to say it. He herself is going to uh, suggest all of that. Like that's how much I guess you could say that she has. Uh, he has her his control over her. In a weird way, like in you know, like a brainwashing fashion, you can say. Um, because. Yeah. All right. Um. So yeah, he she takes up the stuff and uh, yeah, something happens. I think that part was kind of uncomfortable when I saw the needle like pierce her eyes. I'm like, damn, what the hell? I don't think I don't know if that's a needle or something else, but needle like things they can kind of fall on her head. Oh boy. Okay. So after that, uh, again we go back and forth, back and forth to um. Erman and finally Leon's team is able to break through the uh what do you call it the the, the seal and leon is like all right you guys quickly come i'm i'm going ahead and he just goes and uses the and just jumps down using not jumps i think that was like a lift or something he just destroys it and it falls down and uh yeah under like you know after he falls down and I see like, you know, like the uh, Octavia in her, that, that demon form or horror form, whatever you call it, is in front of him. I'm like, oh my God, he's going to die now. Like, I was thinking like, yeah, like they're, they're going to come down and they're going to see his dad dead or something like that's going to happen or almost dying. That type of a situation is going to happen. Like, you know, interestingly enough, she actually spared him. Like, you know, he, she just... I guess she, she was like, yeah, the, this guy can't do anything now. Like, almost dying. So let's go and take care of uh, the others first. And uh, yeah, she jumps up on top and goes for Leon and his team. While uh, Herman is underneath with the different horrors surrounding him. And... Uh, we get a little, like, you know, a little scene of Garm just sitting there, like, you know, planning something, I don't know, like eating cherry. And that, that scene made me think like, okay, maybe this, this was all actually part of Garm's plan. Like she knew, she knew that Leon and Erman and Alfonso, they won't sit down twiddling their thumbs if, you know, the whole city was in a danger. They are going to do something. And she maybe she thought that yeah I'm going to use that, I'm going to do use that as an opportunity for this. I don't know. And yeah, that's where it ends. And as I was saying, like you know, like all this time I was like getting this, like you know, this thing of like oh he's going to die, Armin is going to die, and especially the last scene where you know like the, where uh, the uh, Octavia comes in front of him. I'm I'm like I'm, I was like ninety percent sure that yeah he's going to die here, but. He's still alive and you know what I feel I don't know I'm still not so sure because the previous episode really like kind of confused me I'm like why are they bringing up the whole concept of death so much like Erman is talking about death for like past five to seven minutes he was just talking about death like how you know even if I die like you know, someone's going to take my place all of these things these are giving me huge like you know death flag vibes I'm like yeah this this like you know they're going to kill off Erman. 
and that's why you know this episode i was like continuously i was like you know, as soon as that that scene happened where you know there's like a lot of horrors trying to attack him continuously i was thinking like oh my god he's going to die like you know in in, in some point of the time here but like, you know i'm i was surprised to see like he him being alive by the end of this episode so I'm kind of getting a little bit hope now that like, yeah maybe maybe he's going to survive by the end of it because in the end we also kind of see he say like oh I'm also like you know like the Makai Knight Zoro I'm also not going to go down so yeah like the, the biggest <laughs> the biggest concern was when I saw Octavia in that form in front of him I'm like oh my god he's going to die now but nah she she left him and now there's some other like you know like enemies in front of him I think he could handle those. He probably couldn't handle Octavia at that moment, but he probably can handle these horrors. So I'm not sure now. I feel like he might survive, but as I said, like, and I'm not completely sure. I really hope he survives, but episode number 21 made me feel as if they're going to kill him off by the end. So yeah, I'll be very happy if that doesn't happen. I don't know, we'll, let's, we'll have to wait. But yeah, that was it. That was my reaction to episode 21 and episode 22 of Garo Hono no Kukuin. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to press the like button. Subscribe if you're new to this channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say, anything you want to let me know. And yes, I'll check them out. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And I'll be back next week with the final two episodes of Garo Hono no Kukuin. See you guys then. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.